Today we determine if Raviel Lord of Phantasms is the best GX product ever made. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video and in today's video we're determining is this the best GX product ever made and why do I ask that? How are we going to figure that out? So tins are usually terrible value when you open them up but this Ravael tin is really popular like for GX sealed product because it has you know one of the sacred beasts and it's super valuable but usually when you open a tin you don't get good value so we're going to put this thing up against Legendary Collection 2, the Dual Academy Year is one of the best value products when you open it up because you get so many secret rares, ultra rares, and stuff like that. So we're doing a little battle. This tin is worth quite a bit more than this game board, but I feel like this game board still has the edge in pulls. So let me know in the comments for the giveaway question, which one will win? Will it be the tin or will it be the Legendary Collection 2? Before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this first edition Brothers of Legend booster box. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and of course, let me know which one will win in this battle. Let's get into it and see. But wait. Did you know that Mega 10 2022 pre-sales are out? Use my code MightyRuxin30 if you want to get $30 off with Sassy Auto's link. It also supports me as well. If you haven't heard about the reprints in these tins, they're reprinting Dark Magician Girl, Red Eyes, Dark Magician, and Blue Eyes with new artwork. And they're also reprinting a bunch of new cards like Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon, Forbidden Droplet, Nibiru, Ash, Ghost Ogre, and many more. So make sure you guys use code MightyRuxin if you guys want to save $30 on your pre-order tin and it supports the channel. So let's get back to the video. All right. Let's start off with the Legendary Collection 2 because it's the uh, underdog technically because it's only worth like 100 bucks versus the 10, which is probably at least 300, I would say, something like that. So it has like three times value in terms of like the sealed. But when it comes to opening it up, it's probably the favorite. We're going to find out. We're going to start off with this one just because it's cheaper in terms of overall value. We have a nice promo pack and we have five packs. We're not going to include the promo pack there just because I think it's well, maybe it's worth about 10 bucks. So let's include it as $10. All right, so they've already got $10. I wonder if the Raviel promo out, like outpaces that. I figure it's worth more than $10, but I'm not totally sure. Five packs of Legendary Collection 2 of the Dual Academy years. There's an Ultra Secret and Super in all these packs. So just a lot of value potentially there because, you know, all those high rarity cards. Let's do two from the back. I think that's the way to do it. We have a Crystal Beast Cobalt Eagle. These, This is not one of the best ones in terms of like Joey, uh, Yugi in this one. I think it's probably the worst, but it's still pretty good. Crystal Beast got Gateway of the Six. Crystal Beast Amber Mammoth. So a lot of Crystal Beast stuff, and that's, you know, really popular right now because the new set's coming out. Hero Heart. Elemental Hero Aqua Neo. So this does have value. All of these Elemental Heroes in like hollow version out of this set are worth like at least a couple dollars, so not bad. And a Dimensional Fissure, Secret Rare. I think that's actually worth something for old formats. And an Elemental Hero Chaos Neo. So not a bad start. Some pretty good pulls. And then we've got a Dunker. He's playing some basketball right there. You'd love to see that. All right, next pack. So a good start. So $10 for the promo pack. And then definitely probably like $10 out of those if I just had to guess off the top of my head. Already looking rough for the Raphael tin. Let's see what else we can get. We got Bersinatrix. There's the alternate art secret rare in here as well. That'd be like at least a $10 card. Double-edged sword. We got the Mariner. Thunder King Ryo might have value because of Edison, but I bet it's still under a dollar. Not sure. Rainbow Neos used to be crazy. This is actually a really good pull because even the commons were like 15 bucks for a while. Might have gotten a reprint since then, but I think the Super Rare will still have good value. Cyber Twin Dragon Secret Rare. How is he gonna? How are they gonna beat this? And an Ice Queen. I don't know if Ice Queen is worth anything, but overall, a really good pack with that Rainbow Neos because I think Rainbow Neos is at least worth like several dollars. Honestly, those two packs could probably beat. Uh, you know, a below average Raviel 10 or maybe even an average Raviel 10. So this Raviel 10 is going to have to step it up. We have a fusion recovery. Crystal Rye Yankee, let me know in the comments right now if you believe in the Raviel 10. Do you think it can do it? Can it pull like a Cyber and Dragon or something? That'd be pretty cool. Elemental Hero Neos, common. Always a common for some reason. Lady Heat. We've got the Hero Heart. Destiny Hero Diamond, dude. I don't know if this guy's worth anything or not. Great Shogun Chien. I know this one is worth like at least a couple bucks. That's not bad. And then a Flute of Summoning Karibo. I love this card. I don't know if it's very good, but Crystal Promise there. This one's pretty cool because you can like uh, bring out Wing Karibo from your deck and then they can't like damage you. I used to do that in Duel Links all the time. <laughs> Two packs to go. Let's see what else we can get from Legendary Collection 2. Can we beat the Raviel 10? Wow, this is difficult to get out of the pack. There we go. We have an Elemental Hero Wild Edge, Cyclone Boomerang. Elemental Hero Lady Heat, the Hero Mask. Elemental Hero Malicious Fiend, okay. Gladiator Beast Darius. I actually had one of these I listed the other day. It's like $8. So that's big value there, Secret Rare. And then a Macro Cosmos, another card that's worth a few dollars as well. Infernal Prodigy probably was worth something. And then it got the reprint recently out of Legendary Duel Season 3. Probably not worth anything anymore. And then Dark City. So pretty cool. <laughs> really good pack. We're on to the final pack. Honestly, Raphael is not looking so hot right now. It is not looking good. Let's see. Can we beat it? 
Grandmaster of the Six Samurai. Let me know if you guys like these types of videos, like kind of versus style. Gateway of the Six. We got Elemental Hero Storm Neos. I made a Duel Links video about this a long time ago. It was actually really fun. Cold Enchanter. System Down. Rare value, all right, for those Crystal Beasts. So that one definitely has a couple of dollar value. N Elemental Hero Neos Alias, also an Edison card that you can play, so maybe decent. And then Cyber Valley, also an old format card, and then Dark Calling, which also got a reprint. So overall, very solid Legendary Collection GX. The total value will be on the screen to see like what we pulled in terms of value. What does Ravael have to beat? Can you do it? Come on, let's do this. But wait, 50% of you guys are not subscribed to the channel according to this graph. So go down below and click that subscribe button. So before we actually get into the tin, it has six different tens from 2006. So it's like 50, 16 years old now. Oh my goodness, that's insane. That GX is actually that old. The packs we're gonna get inside, two Cybernetic Revolution, one Elemental Energy, Shadow Infinity, and Invade Justice. Those should all be unlimited, I think. Uh, well, I guess we'll see. So this is the first launch. It was with Elemental Hero Neo, Cyber Dragon, Raphael. Second launch of 2006, they did. Shining Flare Wingman, Haman, and Uriah. So I guess they think Ravael is the most important one. That's what it seems like, because it started off, had a little rip in it, so we don't even have to cut it open. We just go like this. We just destroyed a lot of value right there, opening that up. All right, uh, okay, it doesn't want to open. Very nice. I think the only other time I've opened one of these is when we opened every 2006 10 in one video. So go check that video out if you didn't see it. That was a pretty awesome video. We've done that for all the 10s from 2002 to 2007, open all of them in a single video per year. Maybe one day we'll do 2008, but those are pretty expensive, so we might have to figure that out. All right, we have Ravael, Lord of Phantasms. Uh, ooh, is it a little bent? Might be a little bent. Oh, it's got crap on it. Oh, no. So I, let's just, okay, maybe it's not bent. Okay, let's just call this LP for the sake of the video. So light play, whatever that value is. I'm guessing not that crazy, but still a beautiful card. I don't know if it's worth more than the promo pack that's like 10 bucks. So we'll see, you know, what deficit we're in right now. All right, then we have our pocket guide that is unfortunately not worth anything. So let's see what else we got. We've got our five packs. We have Cybernetic Revolution, two of those not first edition. We've got the Elemental Energy, the Shadow of Infinity, and Enemy of Justice. Let's see if these old school packs can bring it back. That'd be pretty amazing. Let's start with Enemy of Justice because it is the least exciting. There's some value in here if we could get maybe some ultis, some ultras, some super, something cool like that. I don't know what kind of deficit we're in, but it's pretty decent. Like it's sizable. I would guess like at least 40, 50 bucks, something like that. Enemy of Justice. Let's just do three just so we don't ruin it. We have the Majestic Mech Senku. Cool. Celestial Transformation. Wait. It's the same guy in there. That's what it looks like. Destiny Hero Doom Lord. Okay, we got the Destiny Hero Captain Donations. A lot of Destiny Heroes. Okay, I would take a Destiny Hero Dreadmaster Ultra. That'd be pretty cool. H Heated Heart. We got the Blazing Hita. Okay, okay, the Blazing Hita. Icarus Attack, a very strong card for Winged Beast Monsters. Oh, and an Elemental Hero Phoenix Enforcer. Ultra Rare, let's go. So it wasn't the Ultra I just said, but it's a different Ultra. How's that look? Anything on the back? Maybe, uh, wow, surface is super clean. Okay, wow, I don't know. Maybe I should grade this guy at, like, you know, the cheaper rate. I think 18 bucks is over because July's over, but maybe they'll bring it back. But wow, that guy's centering is pretty good. Wow, that's solid. I'm guessing it's not crazy value here, but definitely like some value in general. So an ultra rare pull, that's definitely not what you usually get. We're looking good. It's one out of 24 in GX boxes or packs, I should say. All right, good start, good start. Let's go into Shadow of Infinity, guys. Can we finally pull a Sacred Beast? I've never pulled one in Ultra or Ulti. And we've opened like five boxes. Yeah. And there's only one Ultra that is not a Sacred Beast. And I pull it every single time. It's always the Cyber Laser Dragon. Maybe this is the day we actually pull the Sacred Beast. That'd be pretty amazing. I'd be down. We've got a Photon Generator unit. Some cool cards in this set. Let's see if we can pull them. We've got the Malice Ascendant. Treeborn Frog is a retail ulti, and that's what we would get out of here. So if we got a Treeborn Frog ulti, that's like 60 bucks, something like that. That would probably win it. Attack Reflector unit. We've got the Ancient Gear. Very nice. Full Salvo. Nice card. Tinkabito Shien, the Wild Heart, but just not quite as good in the stats department. End of the World. I think it might be the next card. Ancient Gear Castle. So we got, okay, Death Frog. Okay. We got another foil. So we're back to back. We got an Ultra and a Super. Ancient Gear Castle. All right. I don't think this is very much value in general, but it's something. You know, it's a super rare. So that counts toward the tally of just being happy about the 10 opening. Two foils in a row. You don't see that very often out of an old 10. Okay. So it's definitely three from the back. I think we're going to leave the last two CRV for the end. We've got Elemental Energy. This has amazing Ultras as well. There's some good Supers. I don't know what the retail Ultis are because that's what we potentially have a chance at but i'm sure there's some decent ones in here i know a retail and crv is going to be bubble man so that would be a pretty amazing one even in unlimited we have a blade skater okay beige vanguard of dark world yeah it has the uh, dark world card so there's some pretty good dark worlds you can get in ulti 
Boss Rush. Okay, I don't even remember this card. We got a Boss Rush card. Pretty nice. Zur Knight of Dark World. Just hit regular old vanilla Dark World guy. A Reborn Zombie. We've got a Weed Out with the Injection Fairy Lily on there. What else is on there? The Panda Guy. Is that the Karate, the karate Master Guy? I don't know who that is back there. Pretty funny. Infernal Incinerator. We've got an Oja Magic. Is it the next one? Or the, I think it's maybe the next one. Hero Barrier. We did pull this at Ulti out of, what was it? Our big 10 openings, like five versus $500. Go check that video out if you missed it. That was a pretty awesome video. A lot of old 10s open. All right, so we broke our foil streak, but that's okay. We're saving it for the end. We could get Cyber Dragon Super Rare. We get Cyber and Dragon Ultra Rare. We could get Bubble Man Ultimate Rare. Let's get something amazing, guys. Let's end this thing awesomely because I know we're still in a deficit right here in terms of beating Legendary Collection GX. So we're going to need something epic. Let's get an ultimate rare. I'm down for it. Here we go. Cybernetic Revolution. Let's get a bubble, man. We got the uh, Spiritual Earth Art. Battery Man C. The, one of the original Battery Men. Jetroid. What a classic. The Tadpole. We've got T dot A dot D dot P dot O dot L dot E dot. <laughs> okay, so what does that mean exactly? Like, like what is going on here? I, I really don't know. Uh, Poison Draw Frog. I don't know why I said all of that in a row. Poison Draw Frog yet again. We got the Miyabi. Fusion recovery, not fusion. Doitsu, and it will be next. What's it gonna be? Oh, a Cyber Dragon! Super rare, let's go right out of the pack. Super rare Cyber Dragon from Cybernetic Revolution out of a random tin pack. I don't think I've ever pulled this unless it was out of like a booster box. So this is like a lot cooler. A single pack out of a tin, super rare Cyber Dragon. It's not like, you know, the ulti or whatever, but this is still really cool. I mean, I would maybe grade this at like an $18 rate just because it'd be super fun and super classic. Cyber Dragon, super rare. The centering pills to be pretty good on it. I'm guessing it's not even $10, but still then, that's value. That's value for what we're getting. This is actually getting close. All right, that was sick. That was pretty sick. These pulls, honestly, with Phoenix Enforcer and Cyber Dragon, that's pretty amazing. We have Cybernetic Revolution. Final pack. Can we pull Bubble Man Ulti? If we pull that, I think I'm just going to give us, give us the win for sure from pulling it out of that 10. I definitely think we'd win in value with an ulti bubble man as well. Even unlimited, that's gotta be some money right there. Let's see what we can do. That's a sick pull. Cyber Dragon original, looks good as a super. Oh, the legend, Jerry Beans Man. Jerry, a bean soldier, believes he's the strongest warrior in the world, but his true abilities are still untested. His true abilities are still untested. There we go. Okay, and he's got zero defense, just like the uh, the armored zombie, very nice. Ebon Magician Karan. We've got a Joroid, actually a pretty good card in uh, you know some formats. Cyber Archfiend. We've got Arrival Appears. Okay, I always thought this was an interesting like artwork. Like, what is happening there? Protective Soul Aelin. Giant Kazaki. What can we get out of this pack? Let's go. Come on. Let's get a Bubble Man Dominable Fighter Lele. Another nice one. I think it's the next card. Oh, back to back super cybernetic magician. Not the cyber you're looking for, but it is a super rare. That's four out of five foils. Oh my goodness. And even with this, can we, I mean, we might not have even won. So five total foils if you include the secret rare. One ultra, which is one out of 24 packs. And then three supers, one being cyber dragon. I'm pretty sure we still didn't beat the legendary collection GX. It's going to be pretty close, I think. But we're going to show the value up here about what actually happened. That's insane that you can pull four foils out of five and it's still not win. It's pretty nuts. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this. Shout out to TCG Trust Cards, Tomefo Show, Tomato Juice, Daxter, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanda, Squirtle, Flexi Boy, Dizzy, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Ian Musa, Junior Barning, John Nolan, and Untie Show, Thomas McLean, and Seth Fisher. Thank you guys for supporting the channel and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.